Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail with another FTL challenge run. Where today I'm going to be doing a, a challenge that was suggested to me by a Reddit user seven months ago. Sorry for being so late and realizing you made a suggestion, but it is a uh, challenge known as the Trust No One Challenge, which I guess I've been watching plenty of X Files. So the Trust No One Challenge is very simple. You only get to use the crew that you have at the start, and you cannot accept surrender. You cannot help people. You cannot visit the stress beacons unless you're absolutely required to. Pretty much anything, everything must die, whether it's crew or ships. You do not want anybody to know really what you're doing because the Federation mission is so sensitive. Now, what does that mean about shops? I didn't say. I'd love to try and go shopless on that, but I think just for the sake of gaminess, shops is okay. Apparently, our uh, credit man thing is going to go. And what I'm going to use here, I have my pick of ships. This is a free pick. Probably story-wise, something like a rock ship being not trusting would be ideal. Um, but I'm going to go for something a little bit harder here, and I'm going to go with the Slug A. It's one of my favorite ships. I haven't used it in a while, and honestly, if you want something done dirty, you do it with the Slugs, I guess is the best way to put it here. Um, so we're going to have two crew here, and this is going to make it for an interesting challenge because I, I could go for a ship that starts with four crew, but I think in the spirit of the challenge, it's probably a little better if I try and do this with as few people as possible and no one trusts slugs anyway and they can read minds so that's great for keeping a secret so let's go without further ado and we're just going to call this i don't know i'm sure there's some great x files reference that i'm missing uh so we'll just call it i don't know it's just a running joke at my house of just skinner and his tidy whities because it just seems there's like a stretch between the second and third seasons where they'd have skinner with the shirt off as much as possible <sighs> Okay, well, we're not going to do that. That's I'm not going to taint this. So we're just going to call this uh, Believe. Why not? Because you want to believe. The truth is out there. Uh, catchphrase. Other catchphrases. Let's see. What else is from the show? Um, trust no one. Believe the lie. Fight the future. That was a movie. Um, let's go ahead and get started, though. Civilian sector. So, we, our goal, once again, we have a few ground rules, and hopefully it's not going to start by getting destroyed in the sun here. Now, I do have a breach bomb, which is good. I do have dual lasers, which is going to be a nice combat here. Unfortunately, I'm going to be fried a little bit. But once again, if someone tries to surrender, I'm not allowed to accept it, even if they offer me the best, greatest weapon in all of weaponry, I'm not allowed to accept it. So anti-bio beam is not going to do too great for me. Maybe I should use the breach missile here, but I'm not going to because I'm stupid. But two more shots in the dual laser should be able to get this. I'm going to get one solar flare. Unfortunately, without internal sensors, I don't know where my fire is, but... Oh, it's in my shield room. Well, that's pleasant. Now, this is not a no-pause challenge. But one little challenge of uh, this kind of run is just the fact that I do not have people to repair on the fly. That's where maybe drones could work. This could be a good run for something like repair drones, but here's another rule with this run. I'm not allowed to help in any of these random events, so this is really going to cut down on the scrap and stuff I can get. Because the Federation mission is too important, everything needs to be super secret, and everyone says fuck the slugs anyway, so I'm going to avoid this conflict. Uh, the ship attacks, uh, it stops the ship's attack before it destroyed. So there we go. They are self-sufficient. They can handle themselves. But yeah, no helping people, no accepting surrender, no distress beacons. Apparently stores are okay. But right now, loneliness, that's good. I guess we will try and game the system and see if we can get to that store. I don't know if this node's connected to the store, but this is where we get... Oh good, I get to reject this offer early. Because we're going to kill you. You'll regret that bad decision. You're right. My life is full of regrets. So we'll see here. This is going to be an ion weapon, probably. So that's not going to be pleasant. But I guess what I'm going to be doing here, once I can... Uh... Okay. Fortunately, that breach bomb didn't do too much to the Zoltan the Shield here. Okay, so there's Zoltan Shield's gone. Probably a good idea to just start... Uh... Since I have the breach bomb here, might as well try and breach the shield room. Because that does some system damage as well. Now the anti-bio beam is not piercing, and unfortunately those weapons are. In level 1 shields, that makes this especially dangerous. So I'm going to be trying to use the anti-bio beam as best I can. 
But unfortunately, it has such a... Uh, oh, shit. Well, okay, this is the other part of the challenge that's pretty interesting. I'm not allowed to run. That's right, I can't escape. I can't try and fight this. I can't just run because I lose the challenge. So this is gonna be nasty. In fact, I might just lose on this very first go. Ugh. Come on, ion weapons and my shields are dead and on fire. I don't think this is gonna work out too well. Because now my, sh my shields are on fire, there's nothing I can do. Okay, so first anti-bio beam shot, we've just gotta hit two of these rooms and we gotta hit them in a way that it hits all three, which we should be able to right here. There we go. Just their iron weapon, that's good. They have no repair to speak of, so I may survive this. Their weapon room is on fire too, which is pleasant. Unfortunately, I do not want them moving down to the engine room. That's pretty crabby. Ah! Why are we suddenly missing? I guess if they're not firing on me, I can just uh, do a quick repair. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to have to fire this beam here and then take care of that guy last. So that should be two crew dead. Pretty easy. As long as I have oxygen in that room. Yes, I do. So look, I thought I was doomed from the start, and it turns out that I'm not. Like I said, as long as it's it's not Zoltan ships that I don't want, but I've got to kill everybody and leave no evidence. Technically, what I'd love to do is some kind of scorched earth. Uh, everything must be exploded and destroyed. But there's another thing. A prisoner who offers to join our crew. Oh, uh-uh. Uh-uh, Zoltan. We know how you are. Dismiss. Get out of here. So that's very nice of you. It's like, I want to help. Too bad. You do not get to help us. We're on our super secret mission. I don't care if you bring extra energy here. So is there something else on fire? Because it sounds like something's broken. But I don't think that's the case. So probably level 2 shields are my first priority here. So how close are we? We're not that far off. So we're still, still alive on the Believe. I cannot go to that distress beacon unless I'm forced to. So we do have to go to the store. And what do I get? I could get sensors. I could get a whole laser too. Do I have anything to sell? Slug repair gels, once again, going to be very valuable for this run. Um, I can't actually flip. I could flip this into a whole laser too. That's a really interesting proposition. If I sell the breach bomb. Hmm, 30, 30, and... The, one of the issues is that I'll need the uh, anti-bio beam later on. But you know what? I think that's a pretty good weapon to bank here at first. So we're going to take some stupid risks here. Why not? It's early. It's sector one. I could get drone control or sensors, but nope. I am going to spend almost all my scrap, not on shields, on a big gun. And the nice thing about the whole laser, too, is that I can actually use that first and beat down ships just a little bit. So that's where we'll start. Okay, so we're just going to keep going through sector one, get as much goodies as we can. And once again, um, detect a rebel automated ship nearby. It does not engage and seems to be patrolling around a long range sensor station. I don't want to engage it because I don't want the, them to know the Federation is on the move. So as much as I'm like, hi, I can take it down, I can take it. Nope, not this time. So we're never going to surrender. That means these slavers are going to die. And this is where the hull laser 2 could be pretty nice. So here they have a missile, actually, so I do want to take that down ASAP. And then I may switch to dual lasers because it's here. I don't have the best evasion, especially, wow, my door control's on fire and my ship's on fire. That is a uh, bad combo. So we'll see what we can do here. So this is not the time where you want your uh, door control to be dead. Especially in the weapons room. This could get bad. I can't somehow take down their shields in time. At least we're not doing the Slug Z challenge where no one can heal. So there we go. I don't know if I actually hit that guy or not. Right now we have uh, other rooms that are in danger and unfortunately I'm being fired on by missiles again. There goes my engine, so now I can't dodge. 
That's awesome. So I got one more shot for glory here. Come on, they both died. Good! Alright, so... Who do we want to kill? The Mantis, the Rockman, or the NG Mantis who joined the crew? And immediately get dismissed. Because we're on a challenge run and oh my god, there's a zombie missile coming. Oh, it actually hit my ship. Okay, so first thing is first, I guess. Our ship is super on fire. And I think everything is just on fire right now. Whoa, why are my doors not even repairing here? If I can just put out these fires just a little bit. I said I don't want my med bay to go. If my med bay goes, I'm in huge ass trouble. That's probably what exactly is about to happen here. Come on, guys. I am now in huge trouble because my oxygen's gone. So we gotta go to the part of the ship that has air still. Which might be here, but I can flood all the air uh, out of all of these rooms. I think my O2's just damaged, not actually on fire. Oh, why'd you run through the fire? I guess because you had no choice. So fire spreads in here, both of my crew dies. And the super secret mission is over. So there we go. We have air. There's nothing else on fire. Woo! I'm going to pause this video real quick because I know you all don't want to watch me just sit and have to repair for a bit. Alright, so as those repairs get finished up, as I hope you enjoy that little herky-jerk pause there. Ah, uh, yeah, so it's interesting so far because this right now is feeling like a standard run where I'm just going to get screwed. I actually have a very high success rate with the Slug A. The anti-bio beam is an incredible weapon. And looking back, sure, one could say I should just be using that in the dual lasers and not worrying at all about getting things like the hull laser. That's a hundred scrap I could have spent on a lot of other places. But there we go. Ignore the slaver and continue on your way because we do not want to provoke conflict. So this is actually going to make us jump through some of these sectors maybe a little faster. Forward Rebel Scout. Who's trying to run away? He has multiple lasers, so we are going to be firing those lasers first. As let's see here. I could possibly hot shot him and take him out here. Unfortunately, I am going to be taking some damage. There we go. So, laser's gone. And I'm going to try and take out their engines here. Because I just don't want them to go. And this is where sometimes having a bigger gun can be better. There we go. Unfortunately, they're still charging, but there's a breach in there now. As long as I can keep them from actually jumping, which unfortunately I think they're going to jump anyway. Ah, oh, shit. There we go. So my gun's just too slow. If I had hit one more time, I could have interrupted their jump. But now the Rebel Fleet's here. No choice but to go on. So, pretty weak run so far, but that's because I'm missing all kinds of bonus scrap on bonus events. Uh, even these little events, I just have to ignore it and move on as much as I want to sell some missiles here for 45 scrap. As helpful as that would be, there we go. We're going to go to the pirate sector because I hate Zoltans. I think we all hate Zoltans. They're just a pain in the ass. Alright, so pirate sector. What does this mean? I don't know. I have 9 fuel, 22 scrap. I'm in pretty terrible shape. And... Right now, I'm just looking for something to keep me alive. Level 2 shields would have helped me a little bit there, but there we go. 23 scrap. Level 2 shields is our numero uno priority here. So, Distress Beacon, I'm not allowed to go there. Let's see here. I'm rejecting their offer. Too bad, you'll regret this decision. Now, they have a med bay, and that's where the breach bomb could have helped, and... Oh my god, I have level 2 doors. Thank goodness. Unfortunately... What? What? What did you do? Did that guy just... Is he running around the ship? Did he just run outside? Is he stupid? I don't even understand what that means. Okay, so I gotta take out the weapons first, because that pike beam is unfortunately going to time perfectly with that. So let's see here. Hull beam first. Hull laser first. So take out their weapons. And they're just going to have a great time suffocating here. So, as much as I want to do good things, 
unfortunately I'm not watching my doors very well, so they may actually take out my engines, which would be a nightmare. Yeah, misplay! Lost my engines. Cool. There we go, taking out weapons again. So now that guy's just stuck. So there we go, I divided and conquered and you're gonna die from exposure. So I'll probably just take out the hull one more time. Looks like the other guy died too. So I can't dodge. Okay, we're gonna go uh, do a laser here. Just because I can probably bio-beam these guys to death. I might as well start repairing my engines just to save some time. Oh, I shouldn't have fired those. I will not accept surrender. Can't let y'all know what's going on. Now you all are just going balls to the walls to repair the med bay. How funny is that? Okay, we'll see. Maybe I'll take them out with the dual lasers. Okay, so you all are dead. What? 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 I hit them. I hit them both. Oh, so lame. Okay, well, it looks like I'm uh, not taking them out now. We're gonna try it like this, I guess. And beam! Because the beam's actually gotta pass over stuff. I get a hull missile, which will be good to sell. More importantly, I get extra shields. I don't quite have the energy to use them yet, but I have them. So there's, once again, the distress beacon I can't use. My ship is getting close to its last leg. This is FTL. What other place would you rather be than your last leg? So there's a store. I'm gonna try one beacon before I get there. And ignore the station that I'd have to ignore anyway. And more distress beacons. Might as well hit the store. I need to buy some fuel. We're just gonna call it a conceit to gameplay that you, I can't totally do this with one hand behind my back. So hull missile, not today. Um. Let me do my ship first because my extra shields are not going to be terribly good without actual shields. So, store. I need fuel and I need repairs. I'm a, oh my god. Okay, so that's three fuel. So that's... Let's buy all of it. Okay, so I'm down to one. Not ideal repairs, but not terrible. Okay, let's move on before somebody sees us. And I guess I'm going to be nebula hopping for now and hopefully not hitting an ion storm, which is probably what I'm just about to hit. Okay, so nothing here. Whoa! I said nothing when I meant there is a lot of stuff here. Alright. So I guess we're just going to let these guys attack us in the med bay and be stupid. Right, you all can have your fun in the med bay. In fact, let's cut off oxygen. Oh wow, you weren't actually supposed to hurt me there. Fortunately, my doors repaired themselves and they have to repair themselves again here, so. O2 back on, that's okay. A little frustrating that I lost engines there, or the cockpit, but what can you do sometimes? I don't know exactly how slugs fight. I guess they fire little guns like everyone else. So another quick repair. I'm surprised at how much repairing I'm having to do this run. Hopefully the two shields will at least carry me for a little bit. Come on, Mort. Back to weapons. As we're just going to keep going. I have eight fuel. Nothing can... This is why, this is why I try and avoid nebulas as best I can is because of crap like this. And the worst part with this kind of event is that you get no bonus. No bonus whatsoever. So they're just gonna take out my oxygen. There's absolutely nothing I can do about that. No point to even having really having these doors closed. All right. And unfortunately, every time they take out a system, that's one system damage. I mean, it would be nice 
there was a way to vent out the front in this ship. But it's it can't nothing can be like the slug B where there's just vents everywhere. Because I guess the slug B would be a superior ship to the slug A, except for the zillions of circumstances where it's not. So let's hear no oxygen. My guys better be getting some serious combat experience here. As opposed to casual experience, I guess. There we go. So more repairs. More it seems to be the better repair guy all of a sudden. And back to having oxygen. So as soon as there's air in the rest of the ship. And hopefully we won't go three for three with uh, little boarding invasion events. Oh god, this flagship fight's gonna be hilarious if it comes to this. So exit. Let's jump to at least one more beacon. See what we can find. Uh, they can handle themselves because we have a federation to save. <sighs> Look at all these events and scrappies that I'm not getting. That's how it goes. So next sector. Uh, let's yeah, let's try the NG Homeworlds. I think that'll be a fun way to uh, screw around with stuff. Because there's a lot of little events that I can ignore and make the NGs cry. They're not even really people. Okay, so no response to the distress call. See all of these events that I'm just missing? That store does me absolutely no good. I'm at three fuel, though. So, intr intruder on deck. Uh, well, I can't keep you. So... I'm going to side with the fugitive and fight the NG ship because, according to the spirit of the challenge, if I don't do that, the NGs could go off and report me. So you're just going to die. I'm going to just set you right here. And we're going to kill all the evidence that we've been helping somebody. Now, as long as that's not a heavy ion, which is probably exactly what it is, I'll be okay. And it's just a uh, regular ion weapon, so... Okay, that's my crew dying. I was like, I know that beep. Unfortunately, I gotta take out their med bay for this, so... Another crew dead. I'd love to have just jettisoned him, but... It's not the game we're playing, so I gotta take out their med bay, I guess. So fortunately, unfortunately, it's probably a pair of NGs on here, so... Ah, oh, screw you guys. Now I'm just gonna go to Med Bay and heal up again. Guess I should just pull out the heavy laser. Yeah, we're just we're not even gonna fuck with this anymore. Big laser attack. I'm just gonna do this the conventional way. Now unfortunately it is a hole laser where there's no exposed hole empty spaces, so. As much as I'd love to just kill the crew and catch my spoils. So I think one of my shots actually got deflected by another laser shot. Hmm. Okay, I take I take out the pike beam there, that's okay. Wow. So apparently you can dodge all that even without manning stuff. This is a very frustrating frustrating time right now. There we go. That's right, puncture a hole in there. You know what? We're gonna go right back to this. Ah, I wanna dual laser the med bay a little faster though. Okay, so y'all are just gonna repair the med bay again, that's okay. I'm just gonna fire on it again. Let's see if I can hit you this time. As long as I can just focus fire the med bay. I'm either gonna destroy the ship or I'm gonna destroy the crew. One way or another, victory shall be achieved. So you all can huddle up all you want. Oh, took out the crew just in time. Two fuel. There are no life signs remaining, so everybody that was in that encounter is now gone. That's the point of this challenge. Super, super secret time. So I'm at 40. Probably a good time to uh, 
think about upgrading my weapons just so that I can fire a dual laser on top of that. So, because dual laser is a great weapon all the way at the very end. And wow, that was some really lucky bonus fuel. So there's another store. Let's see what we can get before we go to the other store, because I'd be just as happy to put some fuel down. So let's stay out of it. You let them pass by, because this isn't even a pacifism run. This is just a F you were saving the Federation. Paris slug style. Lagardi and Mort. So Rebel Fleet already making incursions into space of the NGs. Let's go ahead and just screw with you a little bit. Let's see, they do have a med bay, but they only have one shield. Oh, but they have a uh, burst laser big ass gun. So that's not good. So I am going to be focusing down their uh, weapons as best I can. But I'd love to not get shot at five times. But I think it's going to happen. Oh, cut it out just in time. Amazing. Let's go ahead and move on to uh, these places, which you there. And do I get to go for the anti-bio beam? I don't know. Maybe after this whole laser fires. There we go. So I'd love to kill this crew once again. And if I can just multi-laser fire here. There we go. One's dead. If I can just keep their shields from repairing, I'm going to be good as gold. Oh. Okay, so I'm not accepting surrender, so it looks like they're just going to die. Alright, well that's one way to do it. Should probably put some air back on my ship, though. And I'm paused. There we go. Alright, so I'll go from no fuel to a lot more fuel. I have to go to the store instead of the distress beacon. Like I said, I am allowed to go to the distress beacons if I'm passing through and I have no choice. Oh my god, it's like my favorite, favorite weapons all the time here. <sighs> Ion Blast 2, though, doesn't work too great with what I've got. So we're not going to worry. We're not going to lose some sleep over it. Drone Control could be useful, but probably better to invest in my ship. So we're just going to do some cursory repairs. Let's get up to 10 fuel, and let's see what we can do with our... That's not what we're looking for. That's not what we're looking for. Ship button. Alright, so one more here, and let's add one more. So now we can go like this. Alright, it was looking pretty rough at first, but this, if I can get level 3 shields next sector, I'm going to be alright. Too dangerous, we're not exploring that asteroid, fuck the crystal ship. Don't need that. So here we go. Boarding drone, you know what I love about those guys? I Oh, okay. You know what I don't like about the actual boarding drone is that it's actually boarding me. So it is just going to wreck havoc. As long as it doesn't go into my weapons room, I'll be okay. But it looks like I'm going to be attacking their drone control first. Because that is the only part of this ship that can hurt me. So there we go. That's one way to shut down a boarding drone. Here. I could try and be fancy with the anti-bio beam, but I think instead I'm just gonna... Okay. Oh, that sucked. I, I shot all those lasers and they somehow all missed. Well, probably because they have level 2 shields, so I shouldn't be auto-fired. Man, that's the dumb of me. So we're just gonna burst it all at once to try and take down... Here. I can't I can't kill it. But the boarding drone is dead again. I guess they have a system repair drone as well. But next time I can haul laser this guy to death, so it's okay. Staggered shooting. We're not gonna accept surrender. Oh my god. I really would love to accept your surrender though, but you're gonna take out the, all the air in my ship too. So I have no med bay. No oxygen, no problem. Because you're just going to die. So, unfortunately for me, what this means is that there's no air on my ship. 
And these guys are going to insist on... Okay, this could be really bad, because... They're going to insist on killing this guy first. Their combat experience isn't great. There's not a ton of air left in here. And I can't get other crew to repair this, so I don't like this guy parked here. I should, probably should have let him just run back into this room. But didn't think about it, so... Let's get that air fixed first. Alright. Next to these repairs, dodged a bullet there, I think. Still no pilot, so can't necessarily jump all the time. And we'll get the med bay up ASAP. Hopefully my crew doesn't get killed from the lack of air, because slugs do need to breathe. Here we go. So I think the hull laser 2 is a good purchase. Made it a little rough in the early going, but I wasn't thinking of it in, in like sectors one or two. So here we go. Mort's going to go back on his weapons. We're almost done with the sector. I know I'm at the 30 minute point, but I do want to finish sector three. And it shouldn't be too much longer, I don't think. Famous last words. But there we go. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get one or two more jumps in for good stuff. Ah! I'd love to repair, but I don't have time for it. And where's this little beacon that's right next to the exit? Beacon sounds like there's combat. I'm going to decline in helping you. That's actually a Federation bomber. And I should be able to jump up here and then make it out alive. So do I have another combat here? Yes. Against slugs with a very scary missile assortment. So they have no med bay. If I can disable their missiles, I'm going to be in good shape. Unfortunately, they're going after my shields, which I guess doesn't synergize too well with their uh, strategy here. But taking out the missiles is key. All right, and they're just going to abandon that, so we're going to go like this. Okay, so they have also... That's not ion damage, it's actual degrading. Unfortunately, right now, I have, I'm going to have to take multiple shots with the bio beam because these guys are not playing very nicely lining up. Alright, one, two. So those guys are going to die in a little bit. Not too much else to say other than at least they're not firing on me anymore. I don't know why that guy isn't repairing the weapons. Unless there's like a hull fire, all that crap. Shit. At the mercy of the dodge. There we go. That's right, you all just all line up. Please line up. I guess there is a fire after all. Alright, so I don't like how you all are just moving around. So it means I'm probably going to miss some of you. There we go, there's one guy left. So I missed him. There we go, so there must be some fire going on. It's not a good day to be on that ship. But the hull laser has a very good breach chance for lasers, has a very good fire chance. That's why it's one of my favorite weapons in the game. And four... Four fuel puts us in great shape. Let's see if we're going to have another fight or if we're going to be calling this a video right here. So what do we got? Just to continue, and we're going to stay out of it because uh, immediate scan rage after a time, the stress calls stop. Because, obviously, it doesn't matter. The Federation's under one big distress signal. So let's hear. Slug Home Nebula or Rock Controlled Sector? Hmm. Do I have my slugs go and face the slugs or the Rock Controlled Sector? I'll be honest, the RP, whatever you want to call it, nerd alert, neckbeard in me says, we don't want to go to the slug nebula because um, they can be telepathic and find out our mission and blah, 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 sell the info to the highest bidder. Uh, on top of that, I mean, it'd be interesting to go through the slug nebula for this kind of challenge, but we're going to stick with the rock sector. I think facing a lot of missiles is going to be a good enough challenge. So it makes sense from an RP standpoint, and it, you can call me a, a wuss about it or other words. But this is way to fail. I just got Southern on you. This is way to fail. And we're done with FTL, at least for now. This is the trust no one challenge. Whereas you can already see, we've killed allies who've come to join us. We've left people to die as we've gone on because we have one mission, and that is to save the Federation as only slugs know how. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time.